Hi, you want to know how to get such a cool dashboard working with Gran Turismo 7? In this video I will show you how to set up this for free on Android and iOS. We will start with Android using the Sim Dashboard app. You can download this for free in your Play Store. So search for Sim Dashboard and download the app. After the installation, choose your gaming platform, in my case it's the PS5. To get used to the app, you can follow the tutorial. I will just skip this at this point. Now choose your game. For GT7 we need to enter the IP of our PS5. To find your IP address, go to settings in your PS5 and click on view connection status. Enter the IPv4 address in the app. After that, click on the pencil icon and the plus button. Click on add widget and you get several options now. You can create your own design or download some templates to edit. There's also a community tab where you can download dashboards from other players. There are some ready to use dashboards you can use with the free version and some you have to buy the pro version first. Later more about that. Let's start with a new design. This app gives you a lot of freedom to customize your own dashboard and it's really easy to use. Just go through the tabs and add the things you like. For example a ref counter. Place the widget wherever you want and adjust its size using the buttons. Add another widget. On the wheels tab you can visualize the tire temperature, which you can't see on your GT7 HUD. On the physics tab you can add a speedo. We will save our design at this point. With three widgets we reach the limit of our free version and if we want to add more widgets or create more dashboards we need to upgrade. You can either upgrade a single game like GT7 for around 4 euros or get a pro version for all games for about 14 euros, which is a good deal if you play three or more other racing games. If we entered the correct IP address and started the game, the app shows us GT7 is running. Now let's get on the track and test our new dashboard. It's also possible to use the app with an emulator on PC, what I did for this video. Here are some examples what you can do with the Pro version. Even I don't know how to exactly interpret the tire temperature, you see how it goes up and the indicator turns red as soon as your car spins its wheels. Just a Quick disclaimer at this point, I bought the pro version by myself and this video isn't sponsored by anyone. Another cool feature is the possibility to add custom stickers like my channel logo. You can also see a good use case for an additional dashboard. So I made a fuel display which shows my remaining fuel and the average I used per lap. This can help you in online races as you can switch to other options like radar or brake balance on your GD7 hard. If you save several dashboards, you can swipe quick to another one. The SIM dashboard app is only available for Android, but what if you want to use your iPhone or iPad as dashboard? The solution is a small app called ASU Dash. Install it from the App Store, enter your PlayStation IP address, press connect, swipe to the left and you're ready. You can't do any customization on this app, but it's free, super easy to use, works perfect and looks pretty good. Check out the ASU Dash website link in the video description. If you like this video, hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more future videos. Now have fun driving GT7 with your own dashboard.